Good afternoon, everyone. Um, my name is Tuan. I'm working for C4 uh, Vietnam. It was very interesting in uh, your country. And in Vietnam, we have some initial experience in promoting Ecobay system um, EBA in the central coastal region. And uh, first, I would like to share a little bit background for your information. So the the area we're working on is um, name is Hating. So in the map on the left, you can see that is um, the location of um, the area that we uh, work. Uh, in 2016, um, ZIZ, they conduct a study about vulnerability assessment uh, for ecobasis uh, EBA. And at the same time, uh, we also uh, we um, conducted a project uh, from uh, CCAP programs, climate change, agriculture, and food security. It's about uh, climate smart villages. And um, DIZ also um, can pilot the EBA intervention in one province. And then later, um, we proposed a project that we just um, completed. Like, complete this month in, uh, to support the implementation of Paris Agreement through um, EBA and with like promote EBA and CSA uh, practice in other two districts of uh, the Hating province. So I hope this slide will give you um, a bit like clear information about what we have done and um, for the EBA. And uh, from 2020 uh, to select the EBA intervention for the third project in Hating that we did the consultation workshop with the provincial partner. Uh, from the study uh, in 2016 from ZIZ, they uh, recommended top 10 priority socio-ecological system in Hating out from 35. So from this consultation workshop, we selected two out of 10 uh, from uh, two System and then we did um, the focus group discussion and um, the field visit with the local partner to decide the intervention. And the framework we were based on is um, from the EBA and the CSA. Uh, on the left uh, side, you can see that is the framework uh, from conceptual framework about EVA, EBA in uh, reduced vulnerability that GIZ have worked in, in the province. And um, we also based on the indicator, uh, three pillar of climate smart agriculture about food security adaptation and mitigation. So that is um, the connection between the climate smart agriculture and eco adaptation that we use um, in the province. Um, this one, I would like to um, show you a little bit about the, the before and the after the deposit. This is the intervention here this is about sloping um, home garden uh, and the um, traditional uh, apiculture practice. And uh, with the introduction of Arakis pintoys, uh, pineapple at the contour plantation and pruning for fruit tree and also the improved uh, beehive and also apiculture techniques that we can see the changes um, up to two years from the project. And we just can't complete the, the analyze survey uh, at the end of last month. And we are instead of analyzing the impact at the household level. We also did the, the focus group discussion and the key informant interview with the provincial partner uh, and local partner to analyze the impact of the project. And um, for the next um, intervention that um, we are work on drought uh, tolerant grass, because in this area is, um, is like the fallow land and it's very dry in the summer. And the farmer uh, just left the land with all plant maize and some, and then we decided to, um, plant the grass here and it's grow very well in the, this condition. And 
the our partner like extension center they already organized a um, workshop to share about this practice and it has been replicated um, within the commune and also uh, the district um, for this class is um, short and is uh, suitable for for the feeding um, goat and uh, buffalo and cow for the next intervention that we work on is drought lowland that uh, the farmer plant uh, onion and the bean that um, they link with the uh, one common um, one uh, one product that is popular in in Vietnam so um, by this practice uh, the farmer adapt uh, to the drought weather because the onion and bean is uh, very suitable with uh, the drought area in this um, com uh, in this village and the next intervention we're working on would about improve and increase the um, income from the fallow or unproductive rice in the low paddy field and you can see that the farmer here, they invest in um, making the, the pond and raising the prowl and also fish with plantation of a tree and a crop around the border. And all, all of this practice is integrated with the agro climate information service about the key um, crop in the area so that is about the intervention that we work um the last two years uh in the province and it is some of the key output uh from the beneficiary and the um, the number of um, the village saving loan association and also the training and the selling product and for this one um uh, we, uh, our donor is uh, GIZ, and um, we focus on how EBA can improve the adaptive capacity of the poor households. And with the practice that we uh, apply, we, uh, we implemented, and we also did the, um, the eval evaluation about the, the contribution of the intervention to the household income to um, like with the criteria um, about food security adaptation and mitigation. And the last point I would like to share is about challenges and let's learn we um, uh, about in promoting EBA in the central coastal area that this project is uh, uh, in short term only two and a half year. Um, that we, we cannot um, work with um, the household that have um, like, um, we, uh, we focus on the household that already have existing, existing home garden and to improve the practice like pruning, uh, apply um, composting. And um, then uh, in order to, to achieve the project objective, we work, uh, build a strong relationship with the local partner and try um, to integrate uh, the EBA intervention in the provincial program. Uh, the extension center, they already uh, sub submitted the proposal and got approval about the, the same approach or that they, they work uh, with the project and also so uh, the farmer union, they also uh, develop the proposal and replicate the intervention um, in the, the big uh, program called is, uh, in Vietnam, we call it a new rural uh, development program. And uh, for like, I think that the challenge that every country faces about the COVID. So uh, during COVID time is the, um, the social network and also the participatory 
and research in the farm is very important for the project. So that is all the information that we uh, would like to share uh, for from uh, the Central Coastal Vietnam. And thank you very much for your attention. And looking forward to have a chat with you. Uh, thank you.